praising, praising, praising my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming to you this morning. Hope all is well with each and every one on business for the King this morning. And let's just say a short prayer. Father, I thank you this morning for your grace and for your mercy and for your loving kindness. And I thank you, O oh God, that you always show your people what they need to do before you stretch forth your hands. I thank you this morning and I ask you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Thank you and bless each and every one that will hear this broadcast and give them the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In your holy, precious name, I say amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to do... A short video that the Lord keep bringing in my spirit from the other day the brazen altar and uh, as I was looking at the brazen altar I realized it's a place of sacrifice for for the reading you can go to Exodus 27 you can read all of it but I was focusing on verse 9 to 13 to realize that there is going to be a sacrifice and when i started to look on the brazen altar or you can call it the the altar where we do sacrifice one thing was very clear to me it was in the courtyard that we had the sacrifice taking place. Now I say this, brothers and sisters, because judgment first begins in the house of God, and the courtyard is a part of the sanctuary. Now, what the Lord is trying to say for those people that are lukewarm, and He's calling them to higher calling, to repent, to give up stuff, and make it right. And they have become rebellious. Think they can do what they want. There are going to be sacrifice. And I'm telling you this sacrifice is going to be heavy. This is going to be the purge. This is going to be the cleansing of the temple. And there are going to be a lot of people that call themselves a child of God. That are not a child of God. And I want you to see this is why it talks about the courtyard. And that's where we have the altar of burnt offering. Or you can call it the brazen altar. Now, this altar, we will find it in the courtyard. And I'm going to say it again because the courtyard represents people that are in the body of Christ that are not living right. There is a sacrifice coming. So when the Lord begins to show it to me, we will understand that he's not joking. I want you to know that when God is speaking, we need to listen. He also bring my eyes to look at Adonijah when he was doing wrong and he tried to hold on to the brazen altar. Mercy was extend that time. But the second time when he would not listen, he was killed. Joab was also killed right at the brazen altar. So what a lot of people is not getting, you can't have things your way. It got to be God way. And I'm telling you now, a slaughter is getting ready. The blood is going to run because people will not listen. And when I did that video the other day talking about the seal, as I was doing it, I felt like when Moses was telling the people how to put the blood over their doorposts. Because there is going to be a sacrifice. So when I was telling people the other day about 
the video I did about the way God said you're to seal up yourself. That was like, I felt in my spirit, God is going to divide the wheat from the tears. And there's going to be death. It is so strong in my spirit this morning that I don't even know how to explain it. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Get yourself in order. A slaughter is getting ready. And it will begin in the house of God. In the courtyard. So there are people that are calling themselves child of God that are not living any anywhere close to God we have a form of godliness but we are denying everything that has to do with God God bless you all my brothers and sister this is love ministry and this is where I leave it this morning may God keep us with a slaughter is ready for those that will not obey, thus says the Lord God. I seal this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it in the blood of the Lamb.